So we'd be looking at creating a tangent line arc construction. When this straight angled line hits this circle at its outermost point on the circumference and does not ever cross the circle, this is known as tangency, and we need to create this um, feature in our sketch. There are three ways to do it. Um, adding the relationship is probably your best bet, but we'll show or look at a couple more. Um, the symbol for tangency is a circle with a line touching the outside. So one way to do this is to create or set a relationship. One thing I cannot do is I cannot create a line that is vertical or horizontal because that will create that vertical or horizontal relationship. These relationships are these little green markers that are appearing on your screen. So right now, I don't have it vertical, I don't have it horizontal, and all I'm going to do is add a relationship. I could come to the top toolbar and I could add a relationship, but if you hold in Shift and Select, first off, in the Flyout menu, SolidWorks is pretty intuitive. It will give you the options that kind of work for those two features. And in this case, it's tangent. That's the symbol that you're looking for. If you would move your cursor to lose your flyout menu, it is also here in your property manager on the left-hand side. By doing so, I have created a tangent relationship between this line and this arc. So to be a little more dramatic, the way that this relationship forces itself I have really zero chance of failure for not making this work. So I've had a tangent relationship on both sides. Be ready to extrude or cut material. So that is one way, adding the relationship. Another way is I need to really look at my cursor, whether I create a guideline or I come out here and I touch there. That yellow guideline across my screen, right at the end of my cursor, your cursor looks like a pencil, right by the eraser you'll see that tangent symbol appear. And now I have my tangent relationship. So the same thing here on the other side. As I come up and across, there my tangency symbol has appeared at my cursor. I have a tangent relationship. So really you're looking for that tangent relationship marker to appear at your cursor. This would be the last option. Um, hopefully I can make it work this time. If you do not snap on a quadrant point, the four points that divide a circle into 90 degrees, don't snap on them. But as I click and then move the line, it will stay tangent. This hopefully will work. It's staying tangent, it's staying tangent and I can connect to this vertice. I've made a tangent line. This doesn't always work. If I do pick on a quadrant point, I can't get that tangency to extend. I'll have a better term for it. At that time I made it happen. This would be my last option. Sometimes a tangency point and quadrant point are so close together they want to snap but these are three ways to create tangency.